we have 63 minus 40. So we start with 6 tenths and 3 units. So we can find 63 on our 100 square. And we're subtracting 40, which means we're going to take away 4 of these tens. So take away 10, and we now have 53. Take away another 10, that leaves us with 43. Take another 10, and we have 33, so we've taken away 3 tens. So let's take away one more 10, and that leaves us with 23. So remember, for each 10 we take away, we move up one place on our 100 square, and we've taken away 4 tens. So we've moved up one, two, three, four places. So 63 minus 40 equals 23. So the units digit stays the same because we still have these three units. But we started with six tens. We took away four tens. So we were left with two tens. Now 57 take away 30. So we start with 5 tens and 7 units. So we find 57 on our 100 square. And we're subtracting 30. So how many tens are we subtracting? Well 30 is 3 tens. So we need to take away 3 of these tens. So take away 10, and we now have 47, another 10, and we have 37, and one more 10, so we've taken away 3 tens, and we now have 27. So 57 take away 30 equals 27. So the 7 units stay the same. But we started with 5 tens, we took away 3 tens, so we were left with 2 tens. So we have 82 minus 60 on 100 square. So we can find 82. And now what are we going to do? We're subtracting 60 which is six tens. So we need to move up six places on our hundred square. So let's move up one, two, three, four, five, six places takes us to 22. So 82 minus 60 equals 22. Now we have 98 take away 50. Pause the video and using the 100 square to help you, see if you can subtract 50 from 98. So we find 98 and we're subtracting 50, which is 5 tens. So let's move up 1, 1, 2, three, four, five places, and we get to 48. So 98 take away 50 is 48. So we still have those eight units, but we had nine tens, we took away five tens, so we've now got four tens.